sailboat. Every time the weather was good enough, my parents would take me to the lake and we'd borrow someone's sailboat, some of my dad's friends, and we would just get on and we'd just sail anywhere. And I used to imagine if we were on an ocean. And then one day, I decided I would go on an ocean on a sailboat. But I was afraid. I was really afraid. But then I told, talked to my dad and he told me it was okay. He'd come with me. I was bored one day walking through my grandfather's library. I'm just looking through every book I can find. And then I find this one book about sailing. So I open it, I find it very interesting. And I keep reading it through, reading it through, reading it through. Then I hear about the legend of Neptune. And I have So in the 10th grade, I get this boyfriend named James. He is, well, was, so divinely beautiful and gorgeous, I just couldn't help it. And, but he had this thing, a hobby called sailing. And I've gone sailing about zero times in my life. So I decided, oh yeah, let's sail. And I found Neptune's treasure in the middle of the Atlantic. So I find it interesting. So I asked my grandmother if I can use her sailboat to so sail. So my grandma kind of decided that when, I'm, when I turn 16, we'll buy our own sailboat and we'll just sail in any ocean that we choose. So we go out shopping for a sailboat. And I never knew how hard it was really to find a sailboat. The sailboat. So my grandmother gave me this face that I couldn't believe. She was like, why the hell would you want a sailboat? I mean, come on, what would you do with it? I'm like, I want to find Neptune's treasure. Like, so it was Wednesday, and we went out to the lake, Seneca, because we live close to it. And we get in the sailboat, we start going, and he's like, all right, what's this called? I'm like, the giant cloth triangle thing is called this triangle. And he was like, that's the wrong answer for something. I'm like, OK. And so I asked my dad, like, have a sailboat if we want. He said, if you want one with a really big, giant claw triangle thing in the body. Or at least that's what I think he said. <laughs> so we're shopping at some random guy's show. So me and my grandma are arguing about 20 minutes, so she just finally gives me the keys to it. Now she warns me that my grandfather named it really, gave it a really adult name. So once I got to the docks, I, I started looking for the ship at dock A17. So when I, have, I find it, I see it's named Betty's Clams. <laughs> so he said, okay, so this is your one job. Just hold the ropes until I tell you to let go. And I'm like, okay, that's easy enough to do. When I saw the ship, it was in fine condition, fine engine, but I was still wondering why in God's name would my grandfather name it Betty's Clams? crustacean, it could be related to something so else. So we're looking at sailboats, and then I really like one, and my dad liked the other, and we're arguing about which sailboat we should get. But I, I say, I like that one, because it's pretty, and it has a big, whatchamacallit, it's really big, and I like it. He says, but that's so not So I got past the whole name, and when I turned out to sea, I noticed that there was a storm cloud coming, and I'm like, oh, God, I hope I have to deal with that. So finally we decide, and we'll get the one that my dad loves, because he's the one that's buying it. So we get that one, even though so I like the other one. we decided that he was going to go that way, and which is, I don't know, north? I don't know. And so he started sailing, and he's like, all right, let go. I'm over here looking at a pretty little dolphin who's little, like, woo, hi, Marissa. And I was like, OK. And so I did let go of the ropes. And we didn't go north. I kept looking at the storm cloud. We thinking, went south. And south is where it goes Why into did I just? Hire that first mate. Why didn't I do that? Why did I get so stupid? Then the storm cloud passed so away. So it finally comes that I turn 16, and I'm so excited to go sailing. No, I'm only 16 years old, so I don't know what to do. So I'm like, um, okay, what's out? And he's like, the ocean. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Uh, that's really bad, isn't it? So I got <laughs> more confused when I find there's a TV in my cabin. And there's a VCO, and I find this copy of The Perfect Storm. And I'm just like, why would my grandfather carry The Perfect Storm? It's not going to happen to me. So as I watch it, the storm came back. And so then it's finally time for me to decide which ocean I want to sail into. And I'm thinking, Atlantic, no. Pacific, no. Atlantic, no. Pacific. But I couldn't decide which one. I kept watching it. I didn't even notice that the waves were hitting the ship. And when I finally noticed it, I, I decided to 
Atlantic because that's the ocean that they sailed across in Titanic, and I just love that movie, and I really kind of want to do that, but hopefully it doesn't sink like the boat. I ran out of debt. I'm like, for the love of God, why did you do this He to said, me? for the love of God, Marissa, why did you do this to me? And I'm like, and my dad says, for the love of God, why would you want to do that? That's like a curse. We're going we're gonna to die. And I said, no, I'm not. We're not going to die. You're with me. We're not going to die. You're so with then me. I finally wrote this letter saying that I'm about to die, and I'm going to leave absolutely, positively, <laughs> nothing for anyone. I just, I just said, I hate you all. Thank you very much for taking it. But I'm going to die anyway. Then when I closed my eyes, the storm just stopped. And I'm just, why? I was about to die. I wrote this letter. God! I'm stuck. So, we're in the middle of the ocean, and there's no food. Well, there's water, we can't drink it. And I'm on this boat, and I'm probably going to get scurvy or something. I just don't know what to do anymore. And then you just float away. And then we start floating away, and I think, I'm so excited I get to sail. 